Public Forge booth at Shock Show. Got Dale Pancake here. They make some some fine 1911 pistols. I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about this one right here. Go ahead, Dale. Well, this is one of our new models. It's uh, Electroless Nickel. It is uh, the very first one. Uh, we're going to introduce this pistol over the next month or so. Has beautiful mammoth ivory grips on it. As I tell everyone, we've got the largest herd of mammoth in North America, maybe in the world. Uh, we try to keep those so we can keep grips coming on these pistols. This pistol totally handmade. Pistol is made by one gunsmith from beginning to end. It's made from our own forgings. And every piece of this pistol is made here in the United States. Uh, made on American equipment. Made uh, with all American materials. As I say, the mammoth, this particular mammoth is American mammoth. So this is truly 100% American made. And what's your website, Dale? Our website's republicforge.com. You can go on there. You can uh, build a pistol uh, very similar to building a car. Uh, you can put any kind of option you want on it. At the end of the process, it'll give you a beautiful HD picture, and it'll also give you the cost of that pistol. All right. Thank you, Dale. I'm here in the Davidson's booth with Brandon again, and what I want him to talk to you about a little bit is the warranty. They've got a warranty that's unlike any other on the market, and I'll let him tell you a little bit about uh, the warranty on your gun if you buy through galleryguns.com or a Davidson's dealer. Go ahead. So what we offer through Davidson's is we have a unconditional lifetime guarantee on everything we sell. So guns are mechanical. They do break. They're out of the box, sometimes broken. It might break down the road just from overall use, whatnot. We will warranty that gun for life. We'll repair the gun. We will replace the gun. Whatever you need done, if it's 20 years down the road and that model's not available, we'll get you into the newest model or we'll get it repaired for you if it's special, you have to have it. Um, one of the largest investments you can buy is, you know, there are hundreds of dollars of firearms, you know, the, the, how much they cost. Well, manufacturers have their warranty on as well, but when you go into a dealer and there's an issue with a firearm and you're going out on a hunting trip and you don't have time to get a warranty repair, we will overnight replace that gun for you free of charge. So it's a really, really big benefit we have. And uh, I can't tell you enough how many people we've made happy with it. It's a real good thing. And so, you know, if you buy your gun from a, a dealer, get you through Davidson's or go to galleryguns.com. You know, sometimes people ask me about guns. You know, the, is it good or not? If it's something I don't have experience with, that I can, you'll guarantee that's a, a good gun. I say, get it through Davidson, get it through Gallery Guns. If it's not right, they'll make it right. But anyway, check them out, galleryguns.com. Tactical booth. He's got a real interesting gun here. I want him to tell you about. Go ahead, Jamie. Thanks, guys. Welcome to Shot Show 2016. American Tactical now has our turkey fowl over and under gun out and available. What's going on with this one is it's your over under. It does ship in three different gauges: 12, 20, and 410. The interesting part about this one is, Jeff, it ships with a 21-inch barrel. Mm -hmm. Now, in the box, you will receive nine-inch choke tubes which screw in now you have yourself a waterfowl cool. gun at 30 inches cool. all right these available now these are available now check them out at www.americantactical.us thanks James. i'm sitting here in the coke competition booth got jd wilcox here they've got a new version of a coke competition rifle i'll let him tell you all about it go ahead jd all right so today we've got the crz 16 this is the marksman series rifle um, it's our only rifle, under $1,000, $999 MSRP. Um, it's made for pretty much, it's the best all-around rifle you can just get, grab in your truck, uh, home defense. Uh, we got our new, uh, it's an M-Lock design. We built it in-house. It, uh, this is a 9-inch handguard for this rifle. What's your website, JD? It's uh, coltcompetitionrifles.com. I'm here 
in laser max booth with Celia. They've got a new uh, guide rod for a little Glock. She's going to tell you about it. Go ahead, Celia. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Um, Jeff, what we've done is we've taken the guide rod laser design. We've kind of taken it to the next generation um, for the Glock 42 and 43, which are best sellers, as you know. Um, our new guide rod um, is stainless steel. So it's highly ruggedized uh, for use in this little pocket pistol. Um, we've added new features to it that you've never seen before in a guide rod laser. Um, we're doing a, a 10 minute automatic timeout. So after 10 minutes, if somehow this came on inadvertently in a holster or a pocket, which isn't likely, but in the case that it did happen, it would turn off after 10 minutes, it wouldn't drain your battery. Um, in addition, we have a new feature which enables uh, the user to select between the pulsing beam that we're famous for and a steady beam. So that's something some customers have asked for, and now we can set that in the guide rod laser. Are these available now? Uh, they are available now um, at lasermax.com and at fine uh, shooting sports retailers all over. Uh, retail price is set at $299, and uh, that's the lowest price guide rod laser we've uh, actually introduced. So it's an exciting one for us. Yeah, thank you, Celia. Thank you. Appreciate Palmetto that. State booth. Well, Joe Weir, he's going to tell us a little bit about a new hybrid rifle he's got here. Go ahead, Joe. Well, this is a Palmetto State Armory KS-47. Uh, it's a hybrid between an AR and an AK. What it allows is for your average AR uh, shooter to shoot 762 by 39 with the AK magazine. So if you've got an AK and you've got a lot of magazines, um, it allows you to be able to utilize those in the AR platform. Cool. And what's your website, Joe? PalmettoStateArmory.com. Thanks a lot. We're at SHOT Show and I'm standing here with Amanda and Bob and they've got some real interesting projects going on. they got a couple of uh, radio channels and things and they're going to tell you a little bit about what they got going on. Go ahead, Amanda. Hey, well, catch us at Eye on the Target Radio. We're based out of Ohio and um, we do a couple different radio shows. We have a website, Eye on the Target Radio, that, that leads you to live, live gun talk radio. A little bit of practical as opposed to tactical when it comes to guns. So it's all about women and guns, concealed carry, safety, and pretty much anything that you want to know about guns. You can call us, you can try to stump us. Rob is a fabulous gun should I say expert or something like that so um, what kind of questions do they ask you Rob when they call in a lot of times they have an old gun and they'll kind of describe it on the air and uh, I can pretty much guess what it is without having to really see it so it's a it's a lot of fun it's almost like uh, being a television sleuth or a radio sleuth I guess What's your website, Amanda? It's eyeonthetargetradio.com. Whenever I want to get a new gun, I make sure I go to gunblast.com. They have the best reviews. Thank you, Paige. I'm standing here with Bill Alexander and Alexander Arn Booth. He's got a new 300 blackout bullet in the load, and I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit about it. Go ahead, Bill. We, uh, it's uh, Rainier, Rainier Ballistics build the bullets for us. We, we worked with them over the past couple of years. Um, they call it the wedge. It's a 185 grain, and if you see it up close, it's a truncated cone, a uh, hollow point. But uh, we started a long time ago looking at the blackout. I, hell, I started looking at the blackout when it was still the whisper. And we always struggled with it, particularly the subsonic stuff, because you're trying to get, okay, I want a subsonic round, I want it to expand. Hunting. I mean, that's what I do. I'm interested in, can I hunt with the gun? And uh, the more we looked at it, it, it didn't make sense. People were using 200 odd grain, 220 grain, 250 grain, you know, 300. Basically, they were 300 wind mag bullets. Lovely bullets, great construction, but heavy construction for all that pressure, all that velocity. Well, you hit something at a thousand feet per second or below, not going to expand. So we started looking at it and basically said, OK, um, I got pistol velocity, I got a pistol style bullet weight, I've got pistol operating pressures. Why don't I build a bullet like a pistol bullet? I mean, why am I putting all the money in to build a Winmag bullet? So uh, we got Wirania. And we asked them to run a bullet for us as a, it's a swage core, copper coated. And uh, 
the other thing we did, which let us do this, was when they originally brought the Whisper out, it was like, OK, we're going to use it in the same mags. Well, then people got Whisper rounds into 5.56s and blue guns up, and so people started separating the mags. Well, <clears throat> I got magazines made up. I've actually got 300 blackout specific mags, because if you're going to separate them, you might as well have a mag for it. And uh, when they make the front rib, they drop the height of the front rib. Gives me a little more room in there. Well, then I could build the bullet. And uh, it's a 180 grain, not a 200, 220, 240. And the reason we did that was as we were testing, we found the 180 was more flexible on powder. Um, Are they expanding well for you? They expand very well. I mean, we're playing about with... In fact, we're playing about with the cavity profile a little first prototypes we ran we just put a straight conical in they over expanded and we were actually losing petals off it uh -huh. so but it, it the nice thing about it is that for the for the cartridge I finally got an economically priced 300 blackout subsonic that actually expands and you got these in production now we just put them into production and what's your website Bill it's alexanderarms.com come here in the M plus M booth well, Michael and Allison, they got a couple new products. I'm going to let them tell you about it. Go ahead, Michael. Well, we're introducing right now the M10X. Uh, we've got finally standard uh, version ready to go onto the market, which is going to be on a retail price of $1,100. Uh, some of the features that we're introducing right now with our platform uh, coming out very soon is actually a reciprocating dust cover. There was a big issue that a lot of people were mentioning in your website and various forums and everything uh, on your blogs. Uh, and then we also are giving the option of our customers to have a uh, side folding stock. Uh, we integrated the Zukov side folding stock. And what it does, it's uh, fully uh, an adjustable platform so you can actually modularly change the rear tronion. Uh, we're starting to give more options to our customers so that they can keep advancing their platform however they want. Also, we're introducing the short barreled version and we also have a long barreled version at 18.5 inches. Hey, thanks, Michael. What's your website? It's mm-industries.com. Hey, thanks, Michael. All right. Thank you. It's Sykes Booth with Tanya. They've got some uh, new Sykes. She's going to tell you a little bit about them. Go ahead, Tanya. Thanks, Jeff. Well, this year we've actually been able to release our suppressor height sights for Colt 1911s with a Novak style cut. Last year we were able to release our Glock heights and they've been really popular. It's something that people continue to ask us about is to be able to have a raised line of sight to be able to use with suppressors and RMRs. So now we would finally be able to offer that version uh, with 1911s and their clones with Novak style cuts. And what's your website? Our website is www.xssites. That's S-I-G-H-T-S dot com. Thanks, Tanya. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> I don't like this. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> you should have like an outtake. We do. So whenever I want to go get a new gun, I make sure I go and check out Gun Blast. They have the best reviews. And what else do I say? What did I say? You said Gun Blast. I'm not an actress, Dad. Okay. No, I'm not. I was. Do you want to like ask me or do I just say like? No, just go ahead. Okay.